In this tutorial I will explain uh, a bit about the the work window and uh, how to align images to the to the screen as the alignment components. Um, first let me point out here the reload button. This is a very, very important function for the project when you're working. So if you drop in graphics you should always remember to reload after you have put in some graphics or change their state from uh, from spot to box and uh, if you add new panoramas etc you, you remember that this button is here for a reason and this updates the values of uh, and positions of uh, of graf uh, graphics that you put into the project uh, you can also put it onto auto reload personally i don't do that and sometimes i i actually could have benefited from having it on auto, auto reload um, if I have the just have this file there, uh, yeah. So if it is on auto reload, I I can bring up this screen here. I take this image, it's an animated GIF, drop it in here, and it's on auto reload. Then it will auto automatically reload now and update it, update the values for the for the image. The, the images. This happens when there is uh, when the when the uh, uh, the segments are low, low on segments, then will cut out. For the segments, then you go here, and you just increase the value of the segments. You put two six there, equal there, and then it will show pr properly when this stretched like it is here. Maybe if it is stretching over here, no, it's it's fine. Uh, but you have to figure out which values uh, you can put for the for the images if they are stretching uh, quite a lot, like this one does, and. Uh, then you have yeah on the auto reload that is uh, that reacts when it needs to. I don't like it. I find it intrusive, but it, it is very helpful in many situations. So I uh, untick it here now. And this here indicates the size screen, uh, the screen size uh, that is used. This is in custom, and I've just dragged like the custom here, and I just drag this uh, lower right corner to adjust the screen size for my for my needs here. And <coughs> and uh, here you have all the standard screen sizes that you can can uh, use for uh, more or less see how things will look on those different screen sizes. This is not scientific uh, precision uh, for thing how things will look, but it's an indication. And then you can go to fit to the screen. That's like a full screen, uh, but I have it in custom. I prefer that. This top here, which uh, this means if you tick on this one or click uh, click on this one, then this screen will stay on top. So I will demonstrate here. Uh, this one will now be moving under. If I put this one also to be on top, it will be on top here. If the other one goes on top, uh, so this you would have to have this one behind, and then this one would always be on top which is useful if you are in full screen and they have the panorama in full screen and then you can have the toolbox uh, floating on top and you can do your do your work and have nothing uh, nothing but the panorama to work with there um, then we have come to the crosshairs uh, the crosshair which is here you can change to different models there's nothing nothing fancy about this here the n stands for none but let's just keep on having the standard crosshair here. Um, this is used, f used for uh, orientation of images in the panorama. So let's say that I want to put the panorama with its uh, left left edge set exactly there to this to this uh, position here. So this would be the left edge of the image. I have the image selected. 
this is the screen position I'm not going to use that now because I'm not in static you can only use this component here when you have a static image so I put the left side of the image here left center I will zoom out again and then I hit the lock position it's the image left position should be there and lock position and then goes there to the to the edge of the of this uh, aluminium frame um, let me go back here to center position now the center position is to the uh, at the cent center position of the, of the frame there um, now I can demonstrate the yeah, this is the name of the project and the version now the uh, name of the program and the version of it and here's name of the project over here we have the on-screen tools this is the move tool you select the move tool first then you click on the image that you or the hotspot that you want to move and this is the horizontal movement the vertical movement and this is free movement uh, this is the resizing tool uh, you can use those tools uh, with in combination with the shift key on the keyboard so you, pr you press down the shift key and then you pr press the or click with the uh, mouse and hold the button down then you can resize more precisely uh, you can also resize of course in the in the hotspots but that's in another in another tutorial um, this here is uh, for for rotation it is rotating around this uh, central axis central point here in the center so it will always move around that central point um, let me clear those out here so it is straight on so you can better see how it is and if I if I change the position to the left side then we'll rotate around the left side of itself and the left uh, left central side point and again to zero there the scale to one and here we can see how it cuts off the image this cutting off happens when segments are, uh, are too low so those are the segments here Again, 11 there 11 there and there is still a cut cut off there this happens when the images stretch quite a lot and then you just have to find the amount of uh, segments needed to cover up and uh, so it doesn't happen in the position where it is it can be a different position where it will cut again but I think it's high enough on the segments now to be be without the cuts um, then we have the this is the static position tool this is a simpler simpler way than to use both of those components this will use uh, just with one click on the screen so first I have to make this image I have to make, make the image uh, uh, static so I will start by taking away those values here putting everything to zero there and then I have the center point and I change to static and again to zero here so it's straight on uh, should be reload as I mentioned before update the values and I will be straight on in the in the static mode should appear in a little while or no I need to change to st uh, spot here and there it is so now it is static there and then I can use the alignment tool here select that it only works on static images and now I click on the hotspot that I want to align and I want to align it to uh, to this uh, upper upper left corner and then it will always stay here relative to the upper left corner so I resize the screen here uh, to get out of this
So as you can see, I resize here, and it will stay relative to the upper left corner. Equally, if I if I set it to to this position here, then this relative to the to the central top. As you see now, now it moves, but it is always relative to the to the central top uh, point position of the screen. Uh, this is how you use the alignment tools, and then we have, uh, I, yeah, okay, and then we have the uh, uh, opacity. Now I click on the opacity, and th there appears this component here, and click inside of it and drag, and then you can change the opacity of the graphic. This is a quick way to uh, change change things, uh, or change the opacity. Otherwise, you could do that also in uh, Hotspots 2 where you have an opacity slider, and that does exactly the same thing. This one is, is quicker to, uh, to, to use, in many cases. And here we have the segments, which we were dealing with before. And we can go back here so we can see the segments. Let's, uh, select our hotspot with box properties. Well. This is a static, so now I have to go to box and non-static, and then I need to reload and update. So this to zero, and there it is, and then we can again go into the into the uh, segments here. Click on this one. 16 segments. Decrease, increase. So uh, this is also a quick way to make make such changes right at the f tip of the mouse. There is nothing in this position here yet. This is to change the between the spot and box. And this is for uh, switching between static and dynamic. Spot box. And now it's a spot. Spot box. And change it also down here in the box. And the static dynamic. As you see now it's a ticked box there. And untick it and it's not static anymore. Those are where the on screen tools. And uh, then we have the issue with the uh, let me have it static and up here uh, zero on this value so it goes up there and reload then it will be straight straight on here There it is, and as you can see, this top bar, the Chrome here, is actually in the way. If you need to uh, need to work in this area with some graphics, then you would like to see them. Then you just tick on this uh, W button here, and that removes the uh, top bar, uh, so you can work in this area. But you, most of the time, you need to have it visible to access the reload button and uh, the on-screen tools. This brings down uh, the work window, hides the window out, uh, down, in the down in the taskbar, and this hides uh, the classificator tool, uh, tool window in the taskbar. And this is pretty much everything for this tutorial. Thank you very much.